Hi everyone. This is our look at the linear situation for stereochemical structures. There's two different ways we can end up with a linear shape. If there's zero lone pairs and two bond locations, it's going to be all in a line, linear. Or if there's only two atoms, there is not a central atom, that's also going to give us a linear shape. The standard example to talk about linear shapes is carbon dioxide, CO2. My first step is to get the Lewis structure for this molecule. Here I have it. I can double check to make sure I have the correct structure. I have one carbon and two oxygens. Oxygen must have two bonds. Carbon must have four bonds, which I all have satisfied here. Now I need to find the central atom. Again, I might feel accidentally tempted to focus on the oxygens, but a reminder, the central atom is between two other atoms, or the central atom is attached to two other atoms. The oxygen on each side are only attached to the carbon. They are not central. There is one central atom here, it's the carbon. Focusing in on the carbon, how many lone pairs does it have? Zero lone pairs. There's none. Carbon does not ever have lone pairs. No matter the situation, carbon is going to have zero lone pairs. Now, I see the four bonds. Carbon must have four bonds, but I see two double bonds, and a double bond counts as one bond location. So this carbon has two bond locations. Zero lone pairs, carbon has no lone pairs, and two bond locations, this is going to be a linear molecule. A linear molecule. I'm going to draw everything all in a line. It's all in the same plane. We're not going to have any dotted lines, no wedge-shaped lines, just regular bonds. All I'm going to do is leave off the lone pairs. There's my linear molecule. Everything's all in a line. Carbon dioxide, like that. That's all there is to it. However, if we have just two atoms, there is not a central atom. Each of these nitrogens is only attached to one other thing. There's no middle, there's no center. If there's only two atoms, we're also going to have a linear shape. They don't have to be the same. These are two nitrogens attached together. They could be two different atoms. But if there are only two atoms, that's going to be a linear shape. Here, we do not include the lone pairs when we do stereochemistry. So for both of these, I'm actually sort of doing the structural diagram. I'm just leaving off the lone pairs. Everything is all in a line. It would be okay if everything was going up and down instead of side to side. However, it is our natural tendency to do these molecules horizontally. And I hope that helps.